are you? Turner? Hi, and I'm Josh Hackett. Our Mustad is our uncle, and so that's what we're, we're here to support him. Yeah, today. we're niece and nephew. How does it come about that you haven't yet watched the documentary? Um, so I was actually supposed to go to South by Southwest this year, and unfortunately uh, work didn't permit me to be able to attend, so uh, we were so excited. I've been hitting him up like, hey, when's it coming down? Like, when is it going to be in San Diego or LA? And he let me know that they added a date towards Film Out, so we were so grateful. I think one of the biggest things about the documentary is how it kind of leads up. He's got a memoir coming out, I believe it's in early October. Uh, Logical Family, and so it's about choosing the people who really encapsulate uh, who you belong with. You know, you might be born into uh, a place that might not be as uh, so as welcoming, but there's always an opportunity to find people who love you. And I think that really resonates with both of us. Yeah. Um, she's an ally, and I'm actually married to my partner. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. It's nice. So it's, it's a really nice opportunity to, to really speak to people like us. I mean, we're from Tennessee. It's, mm. it's hard there, but he really shines a light in his books yeah, and I, I guess yeah. in this film. I remember um, at my aunt's wedding of, uh, and back in March, he came, he and my other uncle came down and th he actually explained the whole logical family and actual family situation and it is a really beautiful thing and I think it's really important that he coined the phrase logical family because it shows the group that you fit into and the group of people that are going to inspire you to be the best version of yourself and I think that's really important. Um, so I'm gay. I'm, uh, I actually proposed almost a year ago in Muir Woods, and my uncles were there for it. Um, I was so proud and so happy that they were able to be there and see that because they represent a part of my family that I didn't know identified with, but I always loved them so much. And so to be able to have them as my California family and still have the support of my Tennessee family meant the world to me. That's like hitting the gay lottery. One of your relatives is a gay icon. We have a gay little brother too. That's the best we part. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh <laughs> many, many. He's 16. Can I join your family? Yeah, many, many gay people. Are All right, I'm gonna be in. I'm in your family now. Welcome. All right, now get it. <laughs> Illogical, but exactly. I love that. Is this your first time in San Diego? So we live here. Uh, she just moved here yeah. in April, but I've been here five and a half years. Yeah. Wow. How does it? How's it going? Oh, um, I've been visiting here. I've been traveling since I was 18. I knew that this is where I wanted to be. And so I saved up over the years and I just turned 22 and here I am, I've got two jobs. I work seven days a week at one job, five at the other and doing what I have to do and I'm really excited. Okay, so tell us, people are gonna get to know Armistead through this documentary a lot more than they haven't, but what are they not gonna know that only you guys would know? Um, you know what? It's so funny, we weren't allowed to read his books growing up. Uh, I wonder why. Yeah, I know, it's super weird. <laughs> it's not why I turned out gay mom. Um, <laughs> but no, it was such a great opportunity to read it because he and I would have, me and Mouse would have been best friends growing up. You know, um, I love him so much and I loved the character because I met a wiser Mouse and I understood and being able to see how he experienced love and how it literally was like reading your friend's diary and knowing how much somebody's life matters. You know, it, it's a point that's different in gay world now, but anybody can relate to. I'm 22. And I'm 27. Wow. So you guys represent like a younger generation that is a lot more open, a lot more open-minded, I guess. It's so important to embrace who you are as a person. You can play any role on the planet you want to play. And I think that's one important thing that you should teach children from a very young age, that they can be anyone that they want to be in this world. And so you should really embrace that. And I think well, final question, and this is the most important question. What do you have to say to your uncle tonight? I'm so proud of where he's come and how he's evolved and, you know, really represented who he actually is. I'm so proud of that, that he's had that strength and that's very admirable. Uh, I think it's such a privilege that he gets to be premiered at Film Out San Diego. I mean, that he literally represents my community. It, it's hard to say, you know, you can always say like somebody's a good representation of your community, but somebody is literally spotlighted and highlighted for being a good example, and that's the best thing you could ask for. That's awesome. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for having us.